we've got stuff in Afghanistan, we've got stuff in Iraq. And for the first time in Airfoil's history, it'll have some pretty cool stuff in space. I didn't even know NASA did stuff like this. I took for granted they built their own equipment. They just, uh, it was a call out of the blue, said, would you be interested in, and said definitely. I mean, I wouldn't turn that down in a second. I mean, this is the actual machine that we're shipping tomorrow. Before leaving Earth, this T-copter must go through plenty of inspections and flight modifications with both NASA and MIT experts. NASA's looking to MIT to come up with the laser-based flight controller to be able to handle, I guess, the atmosphere that they're going to be in. John Onimus says this technology is unlike any other in the field of aerial photography. We take six pictures and we stitch them together in a program, and then once that program's got, got them stitched, we can warp it into a, into a video player and put you in the image and actually move you around a 360-degree panoramic shot. But it's not your average panoramic photo. You pick what you want to see. You move around in the photo, you zoom in or out, you decide what part of the image you like as opposed to me taking a picture aiming this way. Uh, you can move in any position. And for miles at a time. This won't be the last adventure into space for airfoil aerials. We're already modifying another unit to do uh, a project that, they're, uh, that has to do with their Mars Rover project. But it's, uh, it's going to handle differently uh, than what they're what any of our units normally have, so we have to make it fly first. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Lorraine, Illinois.